You know, I'll tell you what I want to do. I want to make a contract with you. I'm going to promise you one thing, then I'm going to ask you to promise me something. I promise you, first of all, I'm not going to get up here with synergism, cosmic, this Maslow's theory, cybernetic transactional analysis, all this psychological mumbo-jumbo. I'm not throwing away, throwing off one of my friends. Look, I just did a whole week in transactional analysis. But my friends, it is nothing more than old wine in new bottle. Why do we forget the divinity of simplicity? We seem to think if something isn't complicated, it isn't important. I heard someone say the other day, if the safety pin had been invented in this generation, no one would use the darn thing unless it had six moving parts, two transistors, had to be serviced twice a year. Oh, I hate to hear any sales manager say, let's get back to the fundamentals. My friends, if you've ever left the fundamentals, you're so far out on thin that you ain't going to get back. Oh, no. I want to start in utter simplicity. In utter simplicity. You know, I was privileged to speak at a banquet, one of the last banquets attended by old Vince Lombardi. I love that guy. I don't know why the Lord couldn't have taken me, you, Bill, George, some of us, and Lefty. He was such a great people builder, but he had a little mean streak in him. And if his boys lost the game, they shouldn't have lost. Oh, boy, look out. He was all smiles. That's when they were afraid of him. He'd always get up and say, boys, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to meet in the morning at 7 o'clock and start learning all over again about football. Now, when Vince said 7 o'clock, what did he mean? Brother, you better be there, too. I attended to him, and he'd always lock that door. And he always had an old dirty football he kept in his bottom drawer. And he'd get up, and he'd hold it up. He'd walk around for about a minute and not say a thing. He'd say, now, boys, just in case some of you didn't know it, this is a football. Someone on the front row would say, not so fast, coach, not so fast. Now, I hope I won't insult you, because I'm going to start out today with something just that simple. What is your job in mind? Do we sell insurance? Do we sell anything else? My friends, listen, do we sell real estate? Are we in banking? What do we do? I'll tell you exactly what you and I are. We are problem solvers. Who would need us if they didn't have problems? My friend, you come to me on any proposition in the world. And until I know two things, until I know you understand my problem, and second, until I know you have taken my problem on your shoulders, you're not talking to me, you're talking to yourself. No one ever got paid by talking to oneself. I, mean, I believe I do more training of salespeople than anyone in the United States. When you get to be my age, you can't brag about anything. Anything you got, you ain't going to have it long. But you know, I will be with, with trainees and let them say, but Mr. Robert, you don't understand. I'm new in the business. When I've been in as long as old Joe Blow, I too will be able to do this. Would you start out with me by taking this one idea and eat it, digest it, assimilate it, make it a part of you, write it indelibly in your mind, engrave it in your memory, burn it in your backbone, etch it in every fiber of your being. It is the acme of the ultimate of selling. Are you ready for it? People don't care how much you know about your product or service till they first know how much you care about helping them with their problem. Oh, my friend, from the day we are born to the day we die, it's just a crusade searching for people who consider their problem important to us or our problem important to them. Oh, please, please, my friend, we live in a world of problems. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. You know, your, pro your problem and mine, when it gets to problem solving, you and I often are so enthused over what we're offering, the protection we're getting, of the product we are handing out, that we try to sell a product or service before we pinpoint and find out exactly what a person's problem is. What is a problem? It's nothing more than the difference between what you got and what you want. Our job is to bring the two together. And there's only one way to do it. Ask questions. Ask questions. Ask questions. Whoever asks questions controls the situation. My wife, bless her heart, she's... I've never won an argument with her. She never argues. She just asks questions. I came home the other night. Here was a bill for a new dress. I hit the ceiling. I said, sweetheart, now listen. You know I'm not chinchy, but not another dress this month. Did she argue? Oh, no, she's a pro. 
Last week she says, Honey, don't you know we were out the other night and you said how beautiful Ann was? Now you want me to look as nice as Ann, don't you? Now, if I say no, I bought a whole new set of problems. And yet, if I say yes, I bought shoes, bag, hat to match. I mean, please remember, would you try for one month? Whenever you go in to talk to anyone, don't tell them about your company. Don't tell them about yourself. Don't tell them about your service or product. Ask questions. Let them know you're interested in their product.